We all see the photographers on Instagram flexing their lifestyles and can't help but feel a little jealous. They have huge clients, they're making bank, and traveling the world. Social media is a highlight reel and there's a very real dark side to freelance photography. In this video, we're talking about what no one tells you about the dark side of photography. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chris Pitta. I teach creative business and run a production company. My goal of this channel is to teach you all the lessons I've learned along the way so that you have to make the same mistakes that I did. Let's talk about the dark side of freelance photography. Depending on who you ask, everyone has a different answer on how much you should work, especially as a freelancer. There are some people that say you have to wake up and grind all day, every day. Then there are others that say self-care is the most important thing and if you work too much, you'll burn out. Personally, I land somewhere in the middle and no matter what your opinion on the subject is, there is a simple truth. If you want to be a successful freelancer, you're going to be overworked at some point. There's just too much stuff that you need to get done, especially when you're starting out and trying to compete with others who are miles ahead of you. If you want to make it as a freelancer, but you're worried about working too much, chances are that you're not going to make it. There are people out there who are willing to work, and if you're not, you're going to get eaten up. Those people will take your clients. They'll master sales. They'll master marketing. They'll master photography. While you're unwinding on the couch watching TikTok for the fifth time today, these people are out there getting results. But it comes with a price. Success comes with the cost of being overworked. Every successful entrepreneur I've met has gone through this period of time in their journey. It's the cost of admission. It's the price you have to pay if you want it. So now that you know it's gonna happen, how do you navigate it? For me, keeping the big picture in mind helps. From previous experiences in my life, I know that if I put in the work every single day for a few years, success will follow. I've experienced this time and time again, and not just from freelance photography. Keep that big picture in mind as you're going through these stages. You can also ask yourself, what's more painful? The process that you're going through right now or failing? For me, losing hurts more. Knowing that I was so close to my end goal, but I gave up scares me. And lastly, even though I'm working a lot, I'm having an amazing time doing it. I'm enjoying the work. I'm enjoying building new skills. I feel ecstatic when a new client signs. I love when a photo shoot comes together exactly how I imagined in my head. Even the difficult times I can appreciate. Looking back now and all the times I was grinding away, I look fondly upon these moments. I know that those days were required to build what I have now. As a freelancer, you will be overworked at some point. Do you push through it or give up? There are always gonna be things out of your control when getting clients. Depending on your niche and industry, a company's budget may be seasonal. Some months you'll close more deals, some months you might not close any. Maybe you're so focused on filling on deals that you have right now that you don't have the time for sales. If you go down this path, chances are that you'll face some sort of financial hardship early on. This is normal. When I quit my nine to five to pursue a photography career, I knew the first few months were gonna be rough financially. I prepared for this. I saved up six months of living expenses in case I didn't close any clients during that period. And at first, I wasn't closing many. But at the end of that six month period, I had a client acquisition system down that would give me predictable number of clients every month. I knew that if I put in the work, I would get the clients, right? Well, in theory that works, but there are a lot of factors outside my control still. What's important is for me to actually do the things that are required every day, and if I could do that, I knew that I was taking the right action. I couldn't control a lot of things in the client acquisition process. Sometimes companies slash their marketing budgets to focus on other areas of their business. Sometimes the people you're talking to at a company leave their job and you can end up losing that relationship. A lot of industries are also seasonal. Some companies really like to spend money around the holidays and don't spend any during the rest of the year. Whatever the reason, I want you to know that you will have slow months. Having slow sales months is normal in this type of business. Remember, as long as you're doing the necessary work on your end, the slow months will eventually pass and you'll be back on your feet. Just last year, I had a couple of slow months that I was making very little sales. I had just doubled my prices and switched to selling high ticket packages rather than selling small amounts of photos. I assigned a $2,000 minimum to any new client and I had a really hard time selling that at first. It took me a lot of experimentation to land on an offer that was really compelling. I was going through a really slow period and it was really frustrating. But then Q1 of this year hit and I was able to make almost as much money as I did in all of 2021 in just one quarter. The slow months were all part of the process and I recognize that. As a freelancer, this is all part of the game. When business is good, don't go and spend all your money on new gear. Save some of that money for the inevitable slow months. Most of the work you'll be doing isn't creative work. As someone who runs a production company, I'd say only about a third of my time is actually spent behind the camera. The rest of that time is spent growing the business, 
gaining new clients, random administrative work, marketing, and managing my team. Instead of shying away from this other work and dreading it, I took it on as a challenge. Just like I want to be the best photographer I could be, I also want to be the best at sales, at marketing, at managing. I read books on these topics to learn how others do it. I watched YouTube video after YouTube video. I enrolled in online courses. I was excited to do the non-creative work. I recognized that if I want to run a successful business, I needed to adapt. It's either adapt or die. I was not about to go back to working for someone else, so I found a way. And even though a lot of my time isn't spent behind a camera, I still feel like I do plenty of creative work. Great coming up with mood boards for clients and thinking of video ideas. I'm still able to get better at photography. I'm able to utilize all the skills I have and create the best images possible for clients. Just because I'm not behind a camera all day doesn't mean I can't enjoy the work. A lot of freelancers are going to be surprised at how little creative work there actually is. You're going to need to manage your expectations when going down this path. Know that you'll need to wear dozens of different hats. You're going to have to learn new skills. And if this scares you, then my advice is to just get a job as a photographer working for someone else. Because if you don't genuinely have a desire to learn how to run an actual business, you're not going to get very far. This video can be pretty discouraging for some of you. To others, it can be motivating to see what you have to persevere to make it through. Now, how was I able to stick around and continuously grow my business? When I was starting out, I saw a few other people on Instagram that I knew decide to take the plunge. It was fun to see that I wasn't alone in trying my hand at photography full time. But a few months later, they were back at their old job or got hired as a photographer for a company. I know other photographers that have been telling me for years that they're trying to pursue this full time, but they're still just shooting photos on weekends. Why is this the case? Well, there's no single reason why. Maybe they're just not ready for the amount of work it will actually take and they're worried about being overworked. Maybe they haven't taken any risks in their life and this just seems like too big of a risk. Maybe they're spending all their money on lavish trips or at the bar on the weekend and can't save up enough cash for a few months of living expenses. I don't know the exact reasons why, but if you can persevere through everything I've outlined in this video today, there's a solid chance you'll last. If you have the work ethic, resilience, the willingness to learn, you'll be able to endure through the tough times. You'll come out the other side a changed person with an actual business. There's no other journey quite like entrepreneurship. If you're hesitant, this is your sign. Thanks for watching. I've got a video right here that I think you'll love and I will see you in the next one.